Hi Taurus, it's CJ from CJ Soul Messages here and I am going to be doing your March 2022 tarot reading. Um, this can apply to anyone that has Taurus placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as obviously any cross watchers out there. Thank you so much for your support. Um, if you're new here, welcome. Every single like, every single subscribe, every comment from you guys uh, means a lot to me. So thank you so much for supporting and helping me grow my channel here. Um, I'm going to just do a Celtic cross. And this is going to be more of a financial kind of career read. Um, if love comes up, well, obviously we'll dive into it. But I will be doing separate love readings after I'm done the general reads. So let's get into it, Taurus. Let's see what's going on for you for the month of March 2022. This is also the last zodiac sign, Pisces, um, before we actually enter the brand new zodiac year that starts in April. So pretty powerful month just to start off with. Uh, it's a great month with this new moon in Pisces on March 2nd uh, to really, really fine tune the cleaning, um, meaning you know, release everything that is no longer good for you, people, situations, things, whatever that may be. Um, if there's things that, are really, you, that you just don't want to work with or carry anymore, this is a really great month. This is one of the more powerful months to really release what needs to be gone out of your life um, so that you can enter this new zodiac year clean and fresh and ready to dive into what it is that you do want to manifest, right? So let's see what spirit has for you. All right, I'll pull the cards and then we'll go through them. So bear with me for a couple of seconds here. One more time for Taurus, March, 2022, ready. Okay, present is two of pentacles. Ooh, okay, that's nice. Wow. Okay. Hmm. You got a lot of really great cards here and some major arcana showing up in your reading. All right, bottom of the deck, Queen of Swords. Okay, so let's get into this read. All right, Taurus. It may not resonate with everyone out there, so please just take what does and leave the rest for someone else, okay? Um, but this is looking like a really great reading. All right, so Taurus, the present is um, the card that's representing your present. Um, I am doing this at the end of February, so it could even be right now for you. It feels like you've been kind of having to make a decision because we have the two of pentacles showing up. Um, all twos are about a choice, usually. Um, and Two of Pentacles is kind of that energy where you feel like you've been juggling a lot. Um, you may be juggling family, romance, finances, career, you know, all of it. You could be juggling some or maybe all of it. Um, but it does feel, it doesn't feel bad. It just feels like, you know, you, how long can you juggle for, right? I mean, it can get pretty exhausting. But this is just representing the present. Um, but when we look at what's crossing you, this is where it's very interesting. Um, we have the Nine of Pentacles. So this is your challenge. Now, you probably are like, well, how could that be a challenge? Because Nine of Pentacles is just an awesome card, right? This is like so much money and finances that are available to you, that are supporting you. Um, and it keeps on coming. It's like not having any kind of... Um, really having any kind of financial stress or worry because there is more than enough money and there's more than enough where it's coming from. Uh, but as a challenge, I'm picking up that there is this balance, the two of pentacles. I do feel like you're trying to balance between home life, personal life, and career life. Now, I feel like this is something that you have recently taken on. Um, if it's a new career, I feel like it's relatively new. Now, might have started at the end of last year, um, but <clears throat> um, because we got the death card here, and that's number 12, and I'm really being drawn to the number 12, uh, but it feels very much like this is something that you have, something new that you have dived into, um, and financially, it's paying off. I just feel like you might just be getting a little overwhelmed 
at this moment with keeping the balance, right? Um, the card that's representing your past is the fool. Uh, and so that is suggesting here, Taurus, that there was a leap of faith that you took. There was some new journey that you began. Um, but I don't, I, I, like, I'm kind of feeling like December for some of you guys. Again, I keep feeling like that. Maybe even Scorpio season, because the death cards are just jumping out here at me. But you took this chance. You took this leap of faith. Uh, you wanted something different. And it's bringing in the money. And you're getting some independence here. But there is a bit of a struggle of... I feel like there's a bit of a struggle of trying to keep the balance right now. When we look at the future, it is represented by the Eight of Pentacles. So there is something you're really working damn hard on here. Because Eight of Pentacles is all about putting in the work, right? Um, working and working and working because you want to get to the Ten of Pentacles. Um, and so you are putting a hell of a lot of work into this and it might be causing a bit of burnout. It could even be causing a bit of um, maybe even anxiety, but it also, if you're in a relationship, it could be causing a little bit of tension um, between your home life and your career life. Nothing massive, but I feel like there could be just, you know, maybe you're feeling like you're spread thin a little bit um, as you're entering March. I'll get into the conscious and the subconscious, but I do want to go straight to the bottom of the deck. Bottom of the deck is the Queen of Swords. So this is definitely indicating that you are very, you're clear on what way you want to go. Swords is all about our clarity, our logic, how we think, how we communicate, all of that. Um, so you're very clear on the direction you want to go in. Um, but it, so you're having to kind of be a little bit more analytical here. That's why the Two of Pentacles is really jumping out at me as far as like, you're just needing to kind of um, be a little bit more, what, what do I want to say here? I feel like you really kind of need to make sure that you're putting yourself a little bit first here and making sure that you're not suffering from burnout. Uh, I just am picking up on that energy. We do have the Queen of Pentacles underneath that as well. So there's a lot of finances coming your way if you don't have it right now. What is in your conscious, what you are aware of, uh, is represented by Scorpio's card, death and then therefore rebirth. Exactly what I'm picking up on. You know that you have to make a choice here. You've got to find a better, not even really so much a choice, Taurus. It's more like you've got to find a little bit more balance in your life is what I'm feeling. Um, you maybe are feeling exhausted just really getting that energy of like there's needs to be this kind of transformation that kind of comes in here for you that allows you to feel a little bit more freer feel a little bit more less pressure on your back your subconscious is represented by beautiful the ten of pentacles um ten of pentacles is having all that money having that happy family that happy home um, you know, really having more than enough that you can even leave some to people that you love and care about. So whether you're aware of this energy right now, this is going to be happening for you as you go into March. My advice for you is just to make sure you are taking some time out for yourself and not, not burning the candle at both ends is really what I need to say. Oh, yeah. And then when we look at the advice from spirit, it's exactly that. It's the star. Aquarius's card. Beautiful. Um, this is spirit's way of coming through to say, you know what? You are going to shine, Taurus. Maybe some of you guys are actually in a career where you are going to be um, maybe famous, you know? Maybe you got a YouTube channel going. Uh, you know, something like that, right? Where you're really going to be put out there into the world um, and a lot of eyes are going to be looking at you. But there is this advice from Spirit of make sure you're taking care of yourself. Um, make sure that you're making time for you. That you, again, I'm just repeating it. Don't burn both wicks. Like, you got to take some time out for yourself. Um, as long as you're doing that, then everything is going to work out really wonderful for you. Because when we have outside influence, Ace of Cups. God, that's a great card. Ace of Cups is this new love. And, you know, it could be romance for sure. 
um, falling in love again with someone else, but it also can represent you falling in love with what you're doing. Um, you're really connected with what this is, um, and you feel passion and you and emotionally satisfied with it. Uh, beautiful, and it's going to offer a lot of growth too. This cup is going to spill over with happiness. Um, when we look at your hopes and your fears, we have the magician. Okay, so which is powerful card? The magician is. In this position here, I have to say this, Taurus, you might be bloody more successful than even you are prepared for here. Um, because you are bringing in the magic. You are manifesting exactly what you said you wanted. And it is coming in. Now, that is a hope, but it also can be an underlining fear too, right? Because sometimes... It can be scary to receive everything that you're wanting uh, because then it can be very overwhelming. And if we're not used to it and we're not used to getting everything that we want, sometimes we can be a little bit like, oh shit, I don't know, am I ready for this? Like, especially if you're out there in the public, right? Um, in some way, shape or form. I mean, obviously not everyone's gonna have a YouTube channel or you know, be uh, somewhere on the internet kind of thing because that's really what I'm picking up on. Maybe some of you, go, I just got publishing in, uh, the word publishing came in. So I don't know if you're writing something, perhaps you're, you've written something. Because, okay, now the, I gotta look at the Eight of Pentacles here. Right, some of you, for some of you guys, you probably are writers because look at, if you can see over here, it's funny because that's they got in me to look at this um, there is a stack of books and there is like an ink you know the old the way they used to write like with the what is that called they have the ink and then they have the feather and they dip it in the ink and they write okay so that's what they drew my eyes to so if that is you like this there's a serious message in here for you um, but obviously not gonna be for everyone the thing is is that you are going to be very successful it might make you a little scared, okay? And that is completely normal. But you're gonna do fine. How do I know that? Because the outcome here is the Nine of Cups. This is all your wishes coming in true here, Taurus. This is big time happiness, big time celebration, just feeling free, excited, can't even believe it. And that's kind of the energy I'm picking up here is that perhaps that's what the Two of Pentacles is suggesting for you is that you want all of this, you know it's going to be coming. There's something inside you, even your intuition, the subconscious is telling you, you are going to have everything that you asked for, everything that you wanted, but there may be a bit of fear in that because perhaps you're not sure how you're going to handle it. But you're going to handle it fine. It's going to work out. Um, Queen of Swords. Wow. Queen of Pentacles. And then you even have the Empress. So whatever this is that you've been working on is about to be born. And again, you see, I said, I feel like some of you guys are really going to be seen by the world. There's going to be eyes on you. And her belly is the world. So, um, yeah, like this looks very successful. Let's get some clarifiers. Let's just see if we can get anything else. If there's anything that is kind of freaking you out and you're scared a little bit, it's okay. That's normal. Just know that you are going to be really, you're going to have everything that you want. Your wishes are coming true. So maybe the only thing I will say is just be really decisive on what it is you do want. Um, because I feel the universe is really listening to you or they have been really listening to you. And you took some chance somewhere in your past. Recent past, I don't know, maybe it could even be, like I said, I keep going to the death card, 12th. That would have been December. Um, or it could have been Scorpio season, right? November. Doesn't have to be. For some of you guys, it is then. That's when the, this leap of faith happened. Um, but you're going to be okay. You're going to be really great. If you need to be the queen of swords, which she's colder, you know, she's more analytical and logical. She's not emotional. If you need to kind of pull that card out once in a while, um, so that you can keep yourself balanced and not be juggling too much, then you need to do that um, because you don't need to burn yourself out. All right, let's, well, bottom of the deck right now is Ace of Coins, so, hmm, interesting. And I shuffle my cards and meditate on them between each reading, so I didn't, didn't see that, but you do have Ace of Coins, which is huge money coming down the train. Don't know why I said train. <laughs> All right, let's just see if we can get just couple extra cards here or anything else spirit what else do you have regarding this reading 
just feel like you're going to be really successful. What else, Spirit? Anything else for our Taurus for March 2022? I mean, you got the Ten of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, the Man Magician, the Ace of Cups. Wow. Okay, that one just feels major, major arcana in your reading. Oh, wow. And then we just get another one, the Hierophant. <laughs> so this card flew out. Um, deep, deep kind of commitment I'm picking up from this. Uh, could be marriage here. We could even be talking about marriage, but I'm really not getting that energy and I'm not focusing on that so much. Um, I just feel like whatever this is that you have been really putting your heart and soul into, it is taking off in the month of March and it's going to be contracts. There's going to be some massive contracts that I'm getting with the Hierophant. Um, whew, a bottom of the deck is two of swords. Again, two twos, two of pentacles, two of swords. This is why it's going to be really important for you to definitely keep yourself balanced. Queen of Cups. And as I say that, keep yourself balanced. We have the Queen of Cups showing up saying, remember to nurture yourself, Taurus. Just remember to take care of you too. Don't be working until five in the morning and then sleeping for an hour and getting back up. You got to take care of yourself. Um, and as long as you make yourself a priority, you are going to feel absolutely fucking great. <laughs> you know, as you, by the time you're done March, man, you're setting yourself up for something really good here. Really, really good. Just want to count. We've got the fool, death, um, magician, the star, and the hierophant. So we've got five major arcana showing up. Wow. Pretty, pretty strong energy for you. All right, I'm going to get a card out of the Wisdom of the Oracle, I think, for you guys. And then we can kind of close this up. Looks good. Um, I am not feeling the lack of anything here. The only thing, just last reminder, again, remember to take time out for yourself. Don't juggle too much, okay? Maybe you even have to delegate a bit more this month. Picking that up with the Queen of Swords. Delegate if you need to delegate. All right, let's get one card. And we'll get this reading quote. I feel like this one, yes. What is this? Wow, regeneration. There we go. Regeneration. Awesome. Um, and loyal hearts on the bottom. So you have a loyal heart, of course, but loyal heart is also referring to those that are going to be around you and helping you um, grow whatever this is for you, career, business, um, whatever this is for you. There are going to be a lot of people that are going to be loyal to you. Um, I am hearing the word fans, like F-A-N-S, like, like as if you're a rock star and you got a lot of fans that are coming, they're going to be supporting you here. Um, that kind of energy. But regeneration has come out. And this is a really powerful but beautiful card um, because it kind of is like a little bit of the tower, but, but not quite. What I want to say and need to say to you is that Whatever struggles you've had in the past, um, wherever you thought things weren't going to work for you, um, it, is, it is totally going to be working out for you. Regeneration is the energy of, you know, sometimes if you think about a storm or any of that kind of stuff, um, even if you think about a volcano, that's really what I want to say here because this does feel a little volcano-y. Um, it's loud and it's erupt and it's scary and you know it's got a lot of force to it right but when it calms down that lava turns into more land right it becomes something better and it becomes something that is solid and you know that is what islands are made out of so this is telling you that something huge is coming your way look at all the colors on that card you know powerful cards and colors I mean very strong so something really huge is happening for you in March I definitely feel it is to do with some kind of career um, could be love like I said but it's big and it is going to change your world it's gonna rock your world that's twice I've used the word rock I don't know why all right let's see what the moonology has and then I will close this reading off beautiful reading and I know, Taurus, I use the word beautiful a lot, but, you know, hey, it's one of my favorite words. In this world we live in, sometimes we forget to see all the beauty around. So i got to tell you, this is a gorgeous reading. 
All right, one card for Taurus. And we'll close this reading up. I just feel like there's a lot of people that are going to be not only looking at you, but they're going to be supporting you, cheering you on. All right, one card, Spirit, please. This one, thank you. Your dreams need a practical plan. Okay, and that is full moon in Taurus. So basically, Spirit is definitely talking to you, Taurus. You just got to stay practical here. Two of Pentacles, right? Exactly what Spirit is saying. You don't need to juggle. You need to delegate. You need to um, assign tasks, etc., to other people. Let people help you. Um, and, you know, really take care of yourself and keep working on what this is that you are wanting. And um, focus really on what your, your, what your wishes are because it's coming true this month for you. So Taurus, that is what I have. It's awesome. It's gorgeous. Please leave a like and a subscribe. Leave me a comment. Let me know if this is resonating with you. Um, let me know if you're a writer or if you have a YouTube channel or something like that. Love to hear it because it feels like you're going to be uh, in the limelight as you start to go into this new zodiac year. So, <coughs> excuse me. I wish you a beautiful month ahead and, um, God, exciting, exciting times. Things are shifting for you. All right, Taurus, we'll see you next time. Take care.